I want to end with um, talking about being wrong. There are supporters of the government. They've pulled out an old video of yours. You have clarified that the whole speech, you have not shown my old, but you know, a speech that you made it. Now, I'm, I'll tell you why I'm asking this. People are saying that, Yogendra Ji, you're saying it with such confidence today. You got it wrong pehle also. Why should we believe you today? What would you say to that? The two different issues, Varka. The video being pulled out is uh, a video of a speech, uh, of a discussion that is four days after the 2019 results. And the point that I was making, such is the idiocy in this country. The whole point I was making in that video is let us not call the voters idiot. So I begin by saying, you know, I made this appeal, you know, uh, people did not hear it. Therefore, I think people are idiots and so on. I say that. And then my next sentence is this way of thinking about the people is fundamentally flawed. I quote Bertolt Brecht and say, we progressive sometimes want to change to elect a new people. You can't do that in democracy. So the entire speech is actually so you you say something and then in the rest of the speech, you say why this is such a wrong way of thinking. And look at the look at the manner in which people who call themselves educated pick that tiny bit where one sentence is amplified thrice. So it's a doctored video where which shows me to be making a point which I'm refuting in the entire video. So that is plain, plain for No, I saw the video and that's quite clear. You're actually, you're actually saying let's not do a Hillary Clinton moment of judging the voter. In a democracy, you have to respect the voter. In fact, that particular speech is against the liberals, leftists and seculars of this country. <laughs> you know, I mean, so such is illiteracy or what, what should I say? It's just doctored, brazen, fake news culture that people. But more seriously, have I got it wrong? Uh, yes, indeed, I have got it wrong. And I'll tell you where I got it wrong uh, in my professional career and post professional career. In my professional career, I think I of the about 20 things I made, I got once Karnataka wrong, we got the winner wrong. Uh, once we got Madhya Pradesh wrong. And once Punjab was not we did not and we and in 2009, we underestimated the victory of the UPA. But more importantly, the fear is not that. It's not about my professional career. The real questions being asked is, now that you have become politician, you are using your old uh, reputation or skills in order to favor your political uh, stance. Let me say the following things, Barkha. Number one, when my party, Swaraj India, contested Vidhan Sabha elections in Haryana, I was asked, how many seats are you going to win? I said, zero. It is on record in a press conference. Number two, when Amadmi Party was contesting elections, more than once I made uh, exact forecast because I thought the whole media was suppressing. And I guess that's uh, history. I said Amadmi Party could get 57 seats and everyone said, oh my God, outlandish, this, that and the other. They got 67. Uh, everyone is now quoting a, a statement that I made in October 2000, November 2018, or maybe December 2018, that BJP could be down 100 seats in the parliamentary election. What everyone omits, carefully erases, is what I said after Bala Court. The moment Bala Court and surgical strike happened, I said, I wrote, this election is over. There's nothing left in this election anymore because it's completely one-sided election. They don't tell you that. You know, so such is the culture of fake news in this country. I said in Karnataka, I picked up Edina's uh, uh, prediction and I backed it and I said it's a correct prediction. They said 135, 134, 2 to 140. That is indeed the case. In Telangana, I said there is a wave in favor of Congress after a travel like this, which turned out to be right. Madhya Pradesh, I got wrong. Madhya Pradesh, I felt Congress had an edge. I, I initially felt Congress was way ahead. And in the piece that I wrote for the print, I said Congress, it's becoming tighter, but Congress has an edge. I got it wrong. I got, like everyone else, I get it right, I get it wrong. What I have not done, Barkha, is to use my skills to favor political ends. Show me one example of that. And in 2022, I did not offer a professional estimate. In fact, a friend like you called me 
एंड सेट कि इसका सिफोलॉजिकल एनालिसिस करें मैंने कहा आई नो वट्स हैपनिंग सिफोलॉजिकल एनालिसिस नहीं करूंगा एज ए पोलिटिकल एक्टिविस्ट आई डू माई प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस इन सो ऑन आई विल नॉट डू एनालिसिस ऑफ दिस इलेक्शन सो आई आई यू नो आई थिंक इट्स क्वेश्चन ऑफ सिंपल इंटेग्रिटी यू हैव टू मेनटेन a certain integrity about these things you can be wrong is there a guarantee that i would be right no is there a guarantee that you would be right but no not the at question all. is yeah but the, but there's certain and and you know uh, th- that's a final thing i want to say barkha you see i was trained in politics by someone called kishan patnaik people don't remember him but those who ever met him even once never forget it i was his shagird for almost 20 years till he passed away in 2004 and barkha in those 20 years i did not hear kishan patnaik tell a lie even once in 20 years i did not find he was in politics he was a political person did not speak a lie so i do not think i can aspire to those standards uh, but uh, i do uphold some of those values telling a lie to suit your current political stance इज ए स्टूपिड थिंग एंड इन एनी केस ये तो काट की हांडी है ना कितनी बार आप चढ़ा बिल्कुल नहीं इंडियन वोटर टू बी सेज एंड वाइज एंड होल्ड मोर देन टू थॉट ऑल एट वंस Uh, and therefore that simple you know i even i find as a reporter kisko de rahe hai kisko nahi de rahe sometimes people don't want to tell you on record at all to ye bhi hai a factor uh, which also makes polling and punditry a little more difficult than it used to be but no no question of questioning uh, your integrity thank you yogendra ji thank you